page 430. I will now call the meeting of the Public Works and Safety Standing Committee to order. We welcome everyone to this meeting. Public comment is welcome. Anyone wishing to speak on any item on the Standing Committee agenda may do so when the item is up for discussion. You will have three minutes to state your comments. Please come forward to the table. You will be recognized. For accurate recording purposes, we ask all present to speak directly into the microphone. Roll call. Roll call. Brian? Present. Philbrook? Present. Markley? Here. Maddox? Here. Walker? Kane? Here. Approval of minutes? So moved. Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. This takes us to our committee agenda. We have two items. Item number one, a resolution declaring the Missouri River Jersey Creek Connector Trail Project. Mr. Heatherman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a routine uh, item in a project as we move forward on getting easements. Uh, this project is in the CMIP. Move to approve. Second. Second. Roll call. Roll call. Brian? Yes. Philbrook? Yes. Markley? Aye. Maddox? Aye. Walker? Um, I have Stane. Kane? Aye. The, the second item is a resolution declaring the uh, pump station number 12, elimination at 3102 West 43rd. Mr. Chairman, this is a similar action. This location is uh, basically 43rd and Mission Road, and uh, it's fairly minor. All the work will be in areas that really shouldn't be of uh, uh, too much concern but we do need to move forward with this type of action. I move that we accept that recommendation. Second. Any questions? Seeing none, roll call on the question. Brian? Aye. Philbrook? Aye. Markley? Aye. Maddox? Aye. Walker? Aye. Kane? Aye. That concludes our meeting. Thank you for your attendance.
meeting of the Administration and Human Services Standing Committee to order. Um, I'm not going to read the whole rigmarole. It looks like everyone here is someone who knows the, uh, the uh, protocol. Would the clerk please call the roll? Philbrook? Here. Payne? Here. Maddox? Here. Walker? Here. Markland? Here. Next, we have the minutes from our January 13th meeting. Is there a motion for approval? Motion for approval. Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Those minutes have been approved. We actually do not have anything on our action agenda tonight. We just have um, any discussion of our goals and outcomes. So as you all know, we've been talking about workforce development goals since we started sort of going through our goals on this committee. We sort of wrapped that up last meeting as we set forth um, the language for the outcomes. Um, so now the question is, which of our goals would we like to tackle next? And thank you all for letting me volunteer you to take on the open data initiative. Um, so that is now on our agenda as well. We did have fewer goals than any of the other committees, so I thought that was probably appropriate for us to take on. Um, social services is one of our goals that has, as you know, been fairly addressed, and then this new open data goal. And then, Gordon, do we have something else? There's some things that have, I think, sort of gone back and forth between the committees, so I'm trying to think if there's another goal out there. I don't know that there is. Since you've revised, I. I can't think of another one, okay. but I'll check. Yeah, do check yeah, for okay. us. Um, and then does anyone have a preference on whether we move forward with specifically discussing the social services or if we'd like to move forward discussing that open data aspect? I do have some community members that I think would be interested in maybe having sort of an informal committee on that on front. The, on the open on data. On the open data, yeah. They, they contacted me before we had that presentation, actually, so it was timely. Um, no, I, I think we should move ahead on that part. Okay. Well, then we will start with, on, at our next meeting, we will start a more in-depth discussion of that open data um, side of things. And Gordon, in that respect, do you think maybe having somebody from IT would be helpful? Somebody who can talk about how stuff gets online and, you know, those sorts of more technical aspects. If someone could be available at our next standing committee, that'd be great. Okay. All now, right. <clears throat> you know, Chris Cooley did a presentation a while back of, all of the places where data is available now, would you want this committee to see that again, or you you want something more specific to human services, or? Um, Do you guys want to see something like that again? What's out there now? Uh, what summary of what's out there now? Yeah, he could. Yeah. Yeah, he could do a summary of that, and then. Um, the other thing is, as I mentioned just before we started the meeting, is I know that people would really like to see a listing of when our TV, our UGTV is presented and when, you know, for what meetings and so on, so they can actually plan on looking at because they have no idea when to look for these, so. Good, so we'll plan on getting that summary version of what's out there and available getting a little bit of technical background on how things happen right now, and that'll give us some overview to continue that discussion. Any other comments on that? Well, I, I One of the things that I've talked about, and this, the mayor and I both we attended different uh, types of data mining kinds of uh, seminars at uh, the National League of Cities, but Shawnee is presently engaged with a organization called Priority Based Budgeting. And Priority Based Budgeting is a tool. I mean, it's not going to necessarily solve all your problems, but what it does allow you to do is that you make decisions of an economic nature by inputting that data. You can see the out year effect of how that impacts your cash flow, your revenues, uh, your, your taxes, and so forth. Uh, I'm not sure anybody from Shawnee would want to come, Gordon, but you might make an inquiry if, if somewhere in the future they, they would have a representative come and discuss that with us. Uh, I really, I've never sat through a six-hour budget meeting and not wanted to fall asleep. It was that, that was that interesting. And I, I think that sometimes we make these good decisions, but we're not looking five years out as to what, it, what does it really mean? Now, maybe some of that would be 
part and parcel of what Chris Cooley's presentation would be. And I don't know that this particular vendor is the only one out there. So I'm certainly not hawking for them, but I still think we need more tools when we're asked to make budget decisions, large and small, to get a better understanding of what it really means. I think it'd keep us from spending money sometimes. Okay? Great. Anything else? Thank you. All right, that was all for our agenda, so we are adjourned. And don't forget, commissioners, we have to...